Hello everyone, I am Baba Lanchi, your mathematics teacher. Today, we want to talk about the geometric ratio. In the dimension, we have, a, we have a question that we need to solve. Find a side without using calculator in mathematical Take an instance, if I have a question like this that says, if the question is, am I going to solve this problem? Yes. Without using or yes, I can do it. You need to remember we have our statements also at work. If I remember this definitely, you need to know your sign. Your sign of an angle will be equal to opposites over hypotenuse. And in this question, definitely I can see my opposite is 3, my hypotenuse is 5. So without any stressing myself, I will have a right angle triangle. From there, I create my angle as S. My opposite is 3, my hypotenuse is 5. So the next thing will have be, I should know the adjacent. So I can handle my adjacent. Let me call that means, let me call it A. So using Pythagoras theorem. Using Pythagoras theorem, that is how we say, hypotenuse squared equals to opposite square. 5 square equals to 3 square plus A square. Moving forward, I have 25 equals 9 plus A square. For let's go light times, I have 25 minus 9 equals to A square. 16 equals to A square. Definitely, I need to find it by finding the square root of both sides. A equals square root of 16. A equals to 4. So tell me that my adjacent is 4. If my adjacent is 4, then this cubes. I can have a new triangle. Label it out. X, 3, 4, and 5. To so now find cos X. Cos X from that segment that is of my adjacent over hypotenuse. Definitely, what's my adjacent? 4. Hypotenuse, 5. Finally, cos x equals to 4 over 5. If truly you have understood what I just taught you, try this. And give me the answer in your comments. Thanks.